What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving my buddy Steven's E46 330XI with some mods. We're very, very excited. This car is sweet. So let's go ahead and get into it. So good. Okay, right. let's talk about this exhaust a little bit. So this is an XI, uh, 330 XI, all-wheel drive, six-speed manual, and a common issue that people say that these have is they can't install eBay headers on them. But that's not true. You can, in fact, install eBay headers, and it's actually quite simple. Uh, really, the only difference is that it is much easier if you actually drop the front subframe of the car, uh, but they fit, uh, they match up really good to the uh, OEM exhaust. Um, very little modification, and uh, yeah, it's, it's possible. We got eBay headers, and we have muffler delete. The everything else is factory, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. intake on here which honestly I think since you've done the exhaust is now basically not audible at all um, unless you're at low speeds you kind of hear the whooshing still but wide open throttle induction noise uh, uh, no longer existent but you know what that's okay That exhaust sounds so good. So usually I'm a big fan of like, throw on a muffler, make it OEM plus, don't make it obnoxious. But for some reason in this car, in the E46 package, this exhaust just works. I love it. I, I personally, I love how raw it sounds. It sounds so natural to the engine and that's just what I like about it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's obnoxious, it's rowdy, and honestly, I, because the E46 is so much more insulated, this car, it drones, and it is a little, like, boo, like, boomy, but it's, it could be a lot worse, frankly. Yeah, get some rolling clips and just see how loud it is from the outside compared to the inside. Yeah, we have a, a GoPro out the back, which we're going to be flashing throughout this video, so you guys can kind of get that raw sound. Hopefully the GoPro doesn't die or something, because, now nah, who freaking knows of those things anymore, but... <laughs> yeah, dude, this is awesome. Got some air time over that hill. Nah, just full suspension compression. That is the sign of fun right there, the sign we like oh, to see. Hey. 
the squiggly sign. I saw 90 miles an hour, Sonny. I, so we're <laughs> good. <laughs> I don't know if I saw 90 necessarily. Yeah, can, I, can I draw a line for in the five? Make it a nine? my car for once <laughs> uh, <laughs> but this is this is a lot of fun the one issue that we had with this car the last track day that you still haven't corrected but I think uh, the front end will help it a lot uh, help compensate for it was the, the trailing arm bushings I noticed it grot in the, the one turner for the straight when you come up the rear end kind of has to like settle into itself yep. before it grips up and goes but outside of that I mean it's it's like freaking it's dialed in this will be a blast I'm, I'm glad here yeah now we just gotta make sure it doesn't fall apart before uh, yeah. before May. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, exactly. We need it to not fall apart before May. Yep. Oh my goodness. It could fall apart at the track. We don't really care about that, but that was the road I know. needed to take. Oh. Uh, bump. Oh, I can see the bump. Maybe, uh, maybe not drive on that. All right. Oh shit! The dogs are coming. Go 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 go. <laughs> Finally get attacked. Who let the dogs out? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll ignore that that song is not for dogs. there's a bridge and you have to go a little slower over the bridge because there's a, a really big dip that comes unexpectedly mm. bridge may be icy mm. I, I think not today but you know you never know it could be ice out when it's like what 52 degrees depending on your elevation possibly yeah yeah I don't think around here but yeah not around here yeah too low I think we're a little safe today yeah now oh, maybe I hear the induction noise now if I do hear it, it's very faint. We might have to throw some duct tape over the uh, oil fill cap just for old time's sake, too. Just for old time's sake? Yeah. Yeah, reference back to that short that we did, <laughs> the track day. Oh, we'll tell the story about that. So you lost your oil fill cap, or you forgot to put it back on. We did like a parade lap, came back, we're like, uh. <laughs> uh yeah, uh, where's my oil cap at? Where's my oil cap at? <laughs> and then uh, someone was like, someone was going out, and it's like, hey, I have extra ones, let's go grab one. So we're like, all right, well, in the meantime, uh, we'll just throw throw on uh, duct tape. Yeah, a bunch of duct tape on it. It worked. And then, it worked. Yeah, exactly. It worked. We went like we 110, actually, 10, first session, 20 miles an hour. Yeah. yeah, my first session, we went out, duct tape on, you know, ripped it up. Miracle, that thing wasn't lost forever. Um, I think I'll go right here. Now I am a little lost. That's okay. It's a good thing.
that turn signal is really annoying. <laughs> well, I don't know why you're using it. Yeah, facts. We're in a Question BMW. Who uses turn who signals? Who uses turn signals in a BMW? Oh, that's a great fully, I, uh, left front uh, axle hasn't gone out again yet. Yeah, oh, yep. so another thing happened in this car. Uh, the front transfer, or the front, front diff and the transfer case both blew up. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Um, oh, that was a fun time uh, rebuilding that. Yeah, uh, comment down below if you guys want to see this, but we uh, we're thinking about doing a video of us just talking about all-wheel drive problems in the 46 like just talking about the differences, uh, what's different from all-wheel drive to the rear-wheel drive cars, what you can and can't do, uh, what's recommended, and just like living with an all-wheel drive car, like servicing an all-wheel drive one. I feel like a lot of, there's a lot of info on the internet about the all-wheel drive E46s and uh, a lot of misconceptions. Yeah, you obviously. seem to think that it's easier than most people make it out to be. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll do that at some point. Definitely. This summer, I'm gonna get back into uh, back into projects, back into like working on stuff. Project. My F3's kind of been on the back burner. Although next week, uh, as of when we're filming this, we're gonna be working on my M3 and maybe fixing it. We'll have it running by uh, Sunday night. Yeah. We'll have it running by then. That'd be nice. That'd yeah. be uh, that'd be crazy. I'm not going home until it's done. <laughs> Sunday might have to, but. We're on 245 tire, 245.17s. Tires all the way around. Uh, Continental, uh, the Sport Extreme, Sport Contacts, twos. Yep. Yeah, if you guys are looking for really great uh, road tires, but also great on the track, very good handling, would recommend the Continentals. Okay, so we are back now at our original spot. I'm gonna have Steven give us some free revs. All right. Dude, that is so loud. Was that the limiter? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. All right. We're going that. We don't want to piss everyone off. That smells so bad, dude. Oh my God. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Subscribe, if you, subscribe, no, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the like button. Uh, comment down below your opinions, your thoughts. What do you think of the exhaust? Is it obnoxious or is it funny? I think it's not loud enough. I think we need to go louder, guys. Oh my God, I disagree. Comment but... if we're straight piping it or not. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's it. Uh, take care, we will see you in the next one.